Hello everyone, Lady Phoenix here, and welcome back to some more Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link. So, in the previous video, we completed, I believe, Ocean Palace. And in this video, we are actually going to pick up a few things and surprisingly do the uh, Hidden Palace as well. Uh, it's a little over 20 minutes, uh, 20 minutes and 30 seconds, so I'm fine. So anyway, from the Ocean Palace, you went ahead west and... Uh, kind of like in the uh, cave, uh, mountain area south of N uh, Naburo, I believe that's how you pronounce it. And head west a little bit. And that monster there that we saw that kind of looked like a huge spider. I don't know if that's what it really is. But I believe it's called the River Devil. And once you have the flute, you just press the B button and he'll just vanish. Because um, logic. Uh, I, I see where Pokemon got the whole move the Snorlax with the Pokemon flute from. They got it from Zelda too. Yeah, d yeah, yeah. So <laughs> anyway, uh, we're gonna have some new enemies. Um, I believe they're called, oh, it, it's on the tip of my tongue. I cannot remember. It's kind of like a lizard type enemy. We have two variations, the orange and the red ones. Since we have level seven sword, uh, the orange ones goes down in two hits. I believe the red ones go down in three hits. Um, in, the, in that particular version, we just have it where they're throwing rocks at us, but we do actually fight them on ground. Uh, so in this video, we'll be getting the spell spell, the last magic container, and the last heart container. So once after you go through that sequence uh, near the mountain range, which by the way, the three sequences that I went through uh, a few seconds ago are all mandatory. Uh, you wanna head over to this cave. Now there is, I think two point bags that I purposely just skipped over uh, because once I complete the hidden palace, uh, I would have maxed out on everything, uh, which is to the cave that's west of the cave that I'm in now. Uh, I believe it's a 500 point bag. Uh, like I said, I'm not going for it um, because it's really not needed uh, in my situation because I have two level eights already. Uh, so like I said, once I complete Hidden Palace, I'll have maxed out on everything. Uh, so generally I'm just avoiding enemies as much as I possibly can, not really engaging in them because it's really not worth the points and it's easier for me to avoid them as opposed to say in the palace. But if you cut the bush here, uh, you would enter the hidden town of Katsu, uh, Kasuto, which is a little known fact. Um, this is the only town that isn't named by one of the sages in a very popular Zelda game. I'm not gonna say what in case you haven't played it, but all the other uh, towns are named after sages uh, from a very popular Zelda game. But anyway, if you talk to that woman, the older woman, I, I want to point out, the older woman in a purple dress, which she's in red in, in that particular shot, I don't know why. You'll come down and get our final magic container and obviously we'll automatically get full magic, which is cool. I think the next one we decide to get is uh, the spell spell which I read online the spell spell is actually way more useful than what I give it, what I gave it credit for. Uh, I think Johnny, my friend Johnny had pointed it out as well in a previous video, but spell spell is definitely helpful. I definitely use it I think one time on uh, on a uh, blue dark knot. A uh, blue dark knot. So uh, no, not dark knot. I'm sorry. Iron knuckle. I'm sorry. A uh, blue iron knuckle. If you come into this house and enter that crawl space or whatever, here's a wise man and he will give us a spell spell. And also the spell spell is way cheaper than what I thought it was. I don't know why I thought this spell was where you had to use 50 points. I don't know why I thought that it was on the same level as thunder and life because I know thunder, I actually no. I think fully upgraded, even fully upgraded in level eight magic, I think thunder is worth 64 points. I could be wrong on that. I'm not entirely sure. But anyway, if you talk to the townspeople, they'll tell you about the clue here. Cast spell. And 
this will come up that this there is a town person that will tell you there's a secret at the end of town and you need the spell spell in order to do it and this is the magical key and or all Mahdi key um but i think in this version it's called the magical key uh we actually need this key for the next palace because to my knowledge there's only three keys in the entire palace um two from um many bosses and then one from the boss itself i found out that i was thinking to myself well since we have the magical key which by the way replaces can open any doors without having to use an individual key um which is weird because it's only needed for the next palace uh for the great palace if i'm if i'm not mistaken there aren't any blocked doors in the great palace whatsoever i mean i could be wrong i could be wrong but i'm pretty sure there aren't any doors in that palace so huh. but you actually do need the um magical key in order to uh progress through the game because there is like one or two locked doors that you would have to go into. And like I said, the only keys that you have are from the too many bosses and the main boss. So, which by the way, I didn't know that you needed that key. Like you couldn't leave the screen without picking up the key. Cause I was thinking like, well, if I have the magical key, why do I need to pick up this key? I couldn't even leave the screen, which I actually kind of demonstrate a little bit. But before we go and deal with those uh, massive rocks over to the left we're gonna come over to the right at the edge of the shore it's right over here and grab our last heart container so we are maxed out on magic and life the only thing we need to upgrade is our level seven sword so now that we have everything we want to stand in between these three rocks hit the flute and that's our next palace well it was short-lived thanks to the stupid enemies <laughs> But that is our next palace. This is Hidden Palace. You can slash that uh, iron knuckle a statue for a red potion, or it would be a red iron knuckle, so do be mindful. If it does, just leave and come back. Uh, these three, two paths, I'm sorry, two paths um, are dead ends. Uh, you can go to them for extra experience, which I don't know why, looking back on this, I have no idea why I'm going this path. I thought maybe it, I probably misread the guide wrong, um, but that just leads to two bubbles and a point bag. I think the left side leads to a bubble and a point bag as well, but I'm close to leveling up, so I continue onward. And then I opened that door right there. And as you can see, we don't run into, we haven't ran into a, a, a key yet. And that's how you get through the palace. Like you wouldn't be able to get back by that door without the magical key. Uh, for this particular case, since reflect don't cost that much, I decided to go ahead and cast reflect. Uh, mainly because that uh, doom knocker was in here, uh, throwing that stupid mace around. Um, you kind of want to conserve your magic a little bit in this dungeon uh, because you will be casting jump quite a bit even though jump is only worth eight uh, points and it's not a lot but still you want to try to conserve your magic because there are going to be instances where uh, we have to cast the fairy spell I believe twice in this game is, is uh, I'm sorry in this dungeon is mandatory. I think that's the best I've ever taken on a blue, blue iron knuckle. <laughs> that, um, you may have noticed that I took a slight pause over there before casting the jump spell. Well, there's actually a red potion in that iron knuckle statue, but there's a better and way more efficient way to get that, uh, get to that without putting yourself into jank, to danger. So we'll get that later. Besides, it was kind of early. I didn't want to get that right now. Uh, of course, we have a blue iron knuckle here. Honestly, if you don't need the points, like I said, if you're in my position, I wouldn't even bother with them. Like, I do skip over a lot of enemies. I do believe I go ahead and take, yeah, take on this um, doom knocker because uh, we do, we when we make our loop through the palace, we'll loop around and come up that elevator. And if you don't kill him, he'll still be there. Uh, but like I said, one of the good things about Zelda 2 is that once you kill enemies, they 
don't respond back as long as you don't leave the palace so that's pretty good um also later on we will be encountering uh, a link doll uh in this dungeon which i definitely pick up because i die in a very very silly way <laughs> But anyway, after that third statue, make sure you have the jump spell cast and do that, uh, do a jump right there, like as soon as you pass the statue, because there's an invisible hole down there and you will fall right through. It won't kill you, but you will fall right through and then you'll have to make a loop all the way around. And you need to come to this area because we have our first mini boss. Uh, I don't remember what palace this is, but uh, this boss should be very familiar. He's essentially a blue iron knuckle on a horsey. And the good thing is, he hasn't powered up, but we have. Uh, so it takes way less hits to defeat him. Uh, one slash from our level seven sword takes two notches of health, which is pretty good. I think uh, after I hit him this time though, he'll drop the, the horsey will go away and then it's just a regular blue iron knuckle. And I was having the time of my life doing this to his head. I'm, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I was having the time of my life. And this is just me being stupid. <laughs> but down he goes. And this is the part where I was like, well, why do I need this key? And then I realized, oh, they won't let me leave the screen. <laughs> That's why I need to pick up this key. But other than that, you don't need it. Now, this is the cross. Now, you may have noticed that as soon as we pass the, that little um, four stoves, uh, when we left that um, sequence, those three sequences with the um, after passing the red devil, after the third sequence, you may have noticed that there was a graveyard that I completely ignored. Well, the cross will let you see those enemies and allow you to go to... Uh, I believe it's called death valley or is it the valley of death no i think it's death valley yeah death valley sounds more sense makes more sense sounds more zelda like uh yeah i decided i was like why do i i don't need this point back what am i doing <laughs> yeah i probably could have cast reflect but i was kind of low on magic and i knew i wanted to cast a life spell so i was trying to conserve my magic as much as i can when you're dealing with multiple enemies and one of those enemies, uh, one of those enemy types are whiz ropes, it's kind of difficult to uh, deal with an area. But I managed to get through without a problem. And this is where the Doom Knocker was at. Uh, with the well time jump, you can actually jump onto the right without any issues. But I'm an impatient soul. Um, so I went ahead and used the jump spell. Like I said, it's only worth eight. Uh, it's not terrible on your magic. It won't eat through your magic like life or thunder or fairy, but we do what we must. So we're essentially backtracking to where we encountered, I believe the second iron knuckle of the dungeon where there was that, the, the two gap and the second gap was really, really big. Which, by the way, you're going to see another another cut because I had to refer to my guy to figure out which way I needed to go. <laughs> so I cast jump to make this actual jump. Then you fall down. And if you go to the left, there's a blue iron knuckle and a point bag. I'm not dealing with that. Fall down again. Nothing. Fall down again. There will be a bubble and a point bag if you so need it so this is an endless loop by the way so if you want to get to the statue you jump onto that disintegrating bridge and then hold right if it's an iron knuckle just loop through until you can get the red potion that you want so now what you have to do is fall down and hold right or just miss it <laughs> but no you're supposed to hold right and then go through this door here and now we're actually on our way towards the boss. Looking back at this, I have no idea why I'm fighting this iron knuckle. Thank you. <laughs> it's like, go to the next screen. What are you doing? You wasted all that good health. Uh, this room is a little nerve wracking because we have these flying dragon heads uh, and we have bottomless pits. So uh, do be careful. 
You do not want to die. I mean, if you got the lives to spare, then by all means, do what you have to do. Uh, but, but I almost die right there. <laughs> and I didn't want to die this early. Like I said, I do get the Link doll, and it's a Link doll in this dungeon. That's guarded by an Iron Knuckle, a blue Iron Knuckle, but honestly, we have the spell spell, so it's cake. Now, do be mindful that a lot of enemies, I'll say about 90% of the enemies in the game are in fact affected by the spell spell. And when you cast the spell, which by the way, um, side note, cast fairy, because that's the only way you can get around to this area. Don't go too low, because if you go too low, uh, fairy link will automatically just go down into the lava and you'll die. You do take damage, of course, as a fairy, but there's no knockback or anything like that. So do be mindful of that. Make sure your health meter's in pretty good health because you also, you're going to need to cast a fairy spell a second time. Don't go down that elevator. It's irrelevant. Don't worry about it. It will not get you to the boss. And I got excited. I was like, ooh, magic. <laughs> I need that. And yeah. Uh, so anyway, most of the enemies are, I had the spell, spell ready thinking that, um, I was going to face that blue iron knuckle, but I completely forgot about that, this, uh, mini boss fight. So most enemies can be affected by the spell spell. What happens is if you cast a spell spell on an enemy, it will turn into a bot, which is good because those are pretty easy enemies to take care of. But here's the here's the catch though. If you're like grinding for experience points, it will only give you experience points for the bot. So say like if you turn a blue iron knuckle into a bot. A blue iron knuckle is worth 150 experience points, but a bot is only worth two. So if you're experience points grinding, you do need to be mindful of that. Now here right he here, I don't think you need the jump spell, but it's a pretty tight jump. So I go ahead and cast the jump spell and get the spell spell ready. Cause like I said, this is a blue iron knuckle and it's a very tight spot. Spell spell, there you go. And I completely forgot about the two bubbles. And then I'm getting hit while Link's being a douche holding this thing. Now I personally don't care if I die. I was just being silly and trying to outrun the bubbles and they ended up getting me right there. But there's no way I would have made it to where I needed to go because I need to cast the fairy spell. So what you need to do is have the fairy spell ready and just fall down. As soon as the screen come up, cast fairy and then go over to the right. Ignore the Stalfos, it, it, the armor Stalfos, he doesn't matter. And then right here, this is our boss. Dear God, I don't even know his name. <laughs> I like to cast jump and shield and have the life spell at the ready. So this is kind of like, I, I would like to think this is where inspiration of Volvagia from Ocarina of Time came from. I do not remember this boss's name. It starts with a B. I cannot remember it. But anyway, what you want to do is you want to be patient because he comes out of one of three areas, the far left, the middle, or the far right. And he shoots fire at you. Now, obviously, if links get hit, he'll knock back. And if you knock back, there's a pretty good chance you will knock back into the lava. The only place where you can hit him is his head. Now, right now I'm having crap luck. But if you're lucky enough, every time he pops up, you can get him like two or three times. Like I just did. I got him two times right there. Uh, with the level seven sword, where it is one notch per head. So, I mean, it's not too bad. And we have an extra life because we picked up that extra link doll. And this is where my second death comes from. You'll, you'll see, it's coming up. It, it's very hilarious for all the wrong reasons. <laughs> and I can't believe, my heart actually stopped when it happened. So I beat the boss. Yeah. <laughs> so I beat the boss and I went through the lava and I was like, crap. <laughs> So I re I'm recasting my spells and I'm getting my life spell ready and check this out. It still counted me defeating the boss. So I didn't have to refight him again. 
So me jumping around like an idiot, this is me being happy. Cause it's like, oh my gosh, I actually got through this palace without too much of, an, too much, not without too many issues. I think I did pretty good for someone who really doesn't play this game that much. Uh, so I'm gonna level up to the level eight sword and we would be completely masked, maxed out. Anything after this at 9,000 points would be considered an extra link doll. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. And in the next video is more than likely gonna be a collectathon. So if you'd like to see more Let's Plays or Weekend Walkthroughs on the channel, please be sure to click on the links in the description below. But until then, you guys take care and have an awesome day.